Hello guys, um, it's me Alluri, and I'm doing a really small and basic tutorial on Flash Professional. I'm using the version uh, CS6, but they're mostly the same really, so don't worry about it if you have a earlier version or a later one, whatever. Um, first I'm gonna go ahead and, also my interface might be different than yours, but it, it's got everything you have. <laughs> first I want to go ahead and open a new file new. Um, if you want it to be widescreen for YouTube, make it 640 times this. Um, frames per second is how many pictures appear per second. I like to animate a 12, so I will keep it like this. So click OK and you have a flash file ready. Now it just totally messed up and this is not widescreen as you can see. If I want to change anything about the flash file and the flash size, whatever, I go to properties and over here I can see all the properties. If you want to change anything, like change something about this frame, go uh, click on the frame and go to properties. You can add a sound uh, by, you can, if you want to change your brush settings, go uh, click on a brush and go to properties. You can change your brush settings, the smoothing, whatever. You can do a lot with it. If you want, just want to uh, change the settings of your flash file, select nothing and go to properties again. There we go. It's widescreen. Actually, no, it's not. Whatever. I'm tired and it's like 3 a.m. as you can see. <laughs> Anyway, um, the first thing I want to teach you about is the timeline right here. Now, how does the timeline work? Um, over here, you see a frame. You can create a millions of layers. Layers are what you need in Flash. You seriously do. Over here, you can play your, your movie. If you have a lot of frames and stuff, click play. You can click this. It's the onion uh, skin. You can see the previous drawings you made, the previous frames, it's really nice. First, I'm going to delete some layers, because right now I only need one. I'm going to go ahead and draw something with the brush tool. Now I'm using a mouse and not a tablet, so I can't draw to save my life. So, have a really random cat thing. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to draw with a mouse. <laughs> LOL. Um, anyway, you can see that the frame was, was white at first, and as soon as I started drawing, it turned grayish. If it's grayish, it means that you've drawn on, on the file, on the frame. I'm going to go ahead and go through everything you can do on a timeline by right-clicking it. First, I'm going to go through the things that aren't gray. If you insert a frame, you can make the frame last longer. As you know, it's 12 frames per second. So if I want this drawing to last one second, I'll make it 12 seconds. 10, 11, 12. So I click here and I insert a frame. And right near now it's one second in total. If I right click and click insert blank keyframe, I can just add a new frame, totally new. So I click onion skin, and I'll add something random. Like that. See, I can just click and drag this and move the timeline thing. Um, I want this to last a second as well. Too bad I suck at math, so. Um, if I want to cover it as a keyframe because I want to <coughs> change a small thing. I just do this, like this. If I click add keyframe, it will just add this uh, previous frame again. And you can change something small about it. I'll just, personally, I would just do this by adding layers, but whatever. <laughs> so that's basically the timeline for now. Um, here are the tools. Basic selection tool, um, free transform tool, you can click and drag and um, move it around, do a lot of things you want to do, make it bigger or just smaller. 
you can do anything with this. Uh, lasso tool if you just want to uh, select the ear only and drag it away. Here you go. <laughs> Pen tool if you want to draw like this and be a total weirdo. That's the pen tool. It becomes this color because this is the color of the pen tool and this is the color of the brush. So I can use the pen tool and do whatever with it and the brush will turn blue. As the pen tool will to, um, turn purple. This tool, you can hold it in and get some other tools. <laughs> Line tool, always nice. Um, this is a really nice tool. So I'm gonna go and delete everything right here. Or just remove this frame and make a new frame. I want to draw a cat and I want to color it. Random cat. <laughs> so click this. You can also hold it in for other stuff. Anyway, you see this right here. I know it's a really bad quality, but click this, it's the gap size, it's really nice. If you know what gaps are, um, let me show you. If I, I'll just do it differently. See, I want to color this cat, but there is a gap right here, see it? A small gap. Now if I want to color this yellow oranges, it's not gonna color like this. This is because it has no gaps. Now I'll just click this, close medium gaps, and it will color. It will ignore all gaps it sees, and you can make the gap even bigger. I don't know how big it goes. I'll just try to make it as small as I can, usually. Like that, and it will ignore all gaps. It's not really that fancy, really. <laughs> now, what a lot of people like about Flash is that you can either do frame before, uh, frame for frame animation, which is um, let's just get rid of this real fast. Like a lot of frames, I wanted to slowly look that way. I'm not gonna draw eyes because I'm using a mouse and I don't feel like uh, drawing without a uh, without a tablet. So things I like to do is draw in between, like you start with a keyframe and you end with a keyframe. Um, I like to select three frames and convert them to blank keyframes. As you see, they're all white. I like to start in the middle and. Draw a, f a frame in between it. I like to zoom in. And you can see I'm just drawing in between it, literally. <laughs> Wee! The more frames you add, the smoother it will be. It's really nice. Um, yeah, I usually go with around 3 frames. Or even more, it depends on what the cat or whatever is doing. Make sure it really is in between the frames. If it isn't, then it might be all jumpy and ugly and you don't want that. This is definitely going to be jumpy and ugly because I'm doing this really, really fast. But this is basically in betweening. And there we go, we've got a small animation for ourselves. I want the last frame to last longer, so here we go color this real quick so it's not all weird okay I drag my cursor around the timeline and I click enter to play it so there it goes you can also go to comments and test movie in flash to play it and it will keep playing forever and ever and ever and ever anyway that's frame for frame animation you can also make a tween animation, which is different. Um, first, you'll have to convert this to a symbol. Now, get your drawing already and stuff, and right-click 
comfort symbol. You will want to make it a graphic. Movie clip is, and buttons are usually for um, game files. So if you, you're going for pure animation, choose graphic and give it a name. I'll just name it cat. So I'll cr uh, right click on this and create motion tween. Now, wherever I go, if I want um, it to go to the right on frame 10, I'll just do this. I'll drag it around to the right and it will go to the right uh, during these frames. I can click here and make it really big. First, I'm going to set all frames because if I don't, then it will start getting bigger from the first frame on. And I want it to start bigger from this frame on. Now, if I don't click that, this is what I mean. See, it'll do this. If I do it from the start, it'll start bigger, right? Start, uh, start getting bigger right away, and we don't want that to happen. So yeah, make sure you set the frame to all and let it get bigger. Anyway, you can play around with tweens, you can do a lot of stuff with it, you can make it rotate, um, you can get smaller, you can do this, you can do a lot of stuff with tween. So that's it for now, I guess. Oh yeah, you can also add music. Click file, import, import to the library. And it'll load. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and click this file. It's probably a use file. Huge file, so it'll have to load first. Oh, did it load right? Never mind, already loaded. Anyway, click a new layer, rename it to music, and click this. Click the library, I mean properties, sorry, and click this. Um, I personally like to set it to stream so I can hear whatever sound it makes. <laughs> so I'm gonna test my animation first again. And this is my tween animation so far with all the music. You push me. Anyway, this is a bad example of tweening. I'm going to uh, start right over and show you something else. Um, if you want to have an animated tween, create your... Um, I'm just going to animate a ball that just moves around. I'll right click and make it a graphic. I can double click it and make an animation inside the graphic. So I want this thing to do a lot of things. <laughs> See, I'll just pretend this is a nice animation. Well, it's not, but whatever. Okay. You can see it moves around without me adding any frames because it's an animation in the graphic itself, in the symbol itself. Now I can even make it a motion tween and I can still move it around and it will still be animated. So I'll just make it get smaller and bigger and stuff. And do all kind of weird stuff to it. Like that. I'll add some random music to it. Kryptonite should be fine. There we go. And then you have your very own animation again. You can see it's animated with a the frame. It's tweeting and it looks all weird and spacey right now, but whatever. It's uh, basically how tween animation is done. Oh yeah, if you're gonna start from the start, um, your brush is gonna be very weird. It's gonna be like this, straight. Um, click smooth. Go to settings and 
really drag the smoothing down because if you don't it will be really annoying it will make lines like this if you're trying to draw a normal cat it will be very squarish and it will be annoying and you don't want it to happen anyway that's it for now if you have any questions um feel free to ask me i'll try to answer any of them bye